So Adam, are you gonna max out right now? You need a spot? Yeah, Let's yeah, you yeah. a spot on this. You Let me put do, some more air weights on You always right. choose me to do the exercises that we want no weights on the bar, right? So well, I so, like, so I look like a wuss. Let's <laughs> demo everybody's favorite, America's favorite exercise like on one. Monday, International Chest Day. Yes. yes. Bench press. This exercise, extremely, I wanna say this real, just real clear, it is a very basic yet complex exercise. In fact, there's more technique involved with the bench press than right. many exercises right. that we take. So we take it for granted. We think, just push the bar up. It's very popular and very misused. Very misused. Well, let's talk about some of the first common mistakes that I think as trainers that we used to even make. Uh, one of those being uh, your back on the bench. So oh, uh, mm. I see this a lot, and this is your first don't, which is getting up underneath the bench and then doing this. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, stop no, no. it. You want, it. you want your feet flat on the hey, floor. Hey, 1982, let's go back to the floor. <laughs> you want your feet on the floor. You want to have a natural there's a space here. I can fit my hand all the way through. You should have that natural space. Right. Now, that doesn't mean his hips are off the bench. Feels really good when you Or his upper like back. I was just going to hug you. I was going to do a little <laughs> brace there. So but you definitely, you want to have this space because this allows his shoulders to yes. fall back. If he flattens this, he's going to bring his shoulders forward. He's going to cause problems for himself. And his shoulders need to lose power from his chest. The second reason why you want to have your legs on the floor is leg drive is Driving very important. Driving power. So you get those ground forces by driving your legs into the ground anyway, which also stimulates more muscle recruitment into the lift. It so doesn't. People don't get that. Like, if I relax half of my body and try to activate the other half of my body, it's not going to be as strong. Right, all the time. It's not going to be as strong as if I activate the whole thing. And no. you can experiment at home. You could try squeezing your, your hand as hard as you can, but keeping the rest of your body relaxed, and you will only squeeze so hard. But if you tense up your whole body at the same time. You did that just to show off your bicep. I did. It, it yeah. gives you more power. Yeah. So feet on the floor, natural natural arch in the back. What else? Well, what I like to do to get myself into this position is most uh, most bench uh, press racks or squat racks in this case that we're using. You've got these two bars right here on your side, and I'll actually get a hold of them, and I'll use them to help me position your shoulders yep, down. Position and back my and shoulders back and down. Mm -hmm. So now my scapula is completely retracted and depressed. I got that arch in the back that you're talking, my butt's still on the, butt's on the bench. still making contact. Yep, everything's still making contact where I want. I just got that nice arch and the shoulders are completely retracted to press. Now I'm gonna find the position I want my hands. Yeah, you're gonna groove your hands into a nice, comfortable position that opens the chest up enough, but is, you know, the right width that, that matches your now, ability. Now Adam has pretty wide shoulders and he's got long arms, so he's got a relatively wide grip, but people, there's a, there's a pretty good uh, variance in, from individual to individual to there what is, the grip yeah. should be. That's why there's no like real standard, like this is how you have to hold right, it. Right, exactly. Yeah. And now as he lowers, he is gonna stay tight That's throughout it. the back, okay? Yes, he's staying tight in the chest, but he's also staying tight back here. And as he pushes, go ahead and press, his shoulders stay back. Now watch what happens when he goes down. Let's go ahead and do one more rep here, Adam. But this time roll the shoulders forward the wrong way. That's the wrong way to bench. And doesn't that feel horrible? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that feels horrible. Stick the chest out, that's where you wanna be. Well, you see that a lot with people that have poor rounded shoulder posturing, right? They're already They're in that already, position. Right? Yeah. This is comfortable to them already, and that's a problem that you need to address outside of this. This oh. is also why we don't promote people putting their feet up here, because it naturally does that. So right. if I were to put my feet flat on the bench or lift my feet up, it, it flattens my back and it naturally is already going to round my shoulders forward. So then when I go to press, mm -hmm. I'm you're gonna, asking for shoulder problems. Oh, yeah. So one other thing, we were talking about ground forces and creating more tension in this lift. One thing I like to do with, uh, as a cue with some of my clients is we'll start it out at the top. So when I'm going through the eccentric part of the lift, I want to squeeze out a bit to get so that pull connectivity. Apart a bit. Pull just a little bit to get a little more stability and control, and then press my way and explode out of that. Excellent. Here's the other thing too. Look at his grip. He's got his thumb around the bar. He's got a full oh, grip. What do you know? Yeah. Okay. Put your thumb on the outside of the bar. Okay. Now what ends up happening with heavy weight is his wrist will start to. Do this, Roll. and I see people bench like this all the time. Mm -hmm. This is why people have to wear wrist, you know, what do they call wrist wraps, or not straps, uh, but actual. Uh, there's uh, just support there, yeah. Wrist support, support, because yeah. Because they're allowing the wrist to cock back with that thumbless grip. Not only is this a potentially dangerous grip, you could lose the bar, yeah. but this is not good for your wrist. Put, no. a, put your thumb around the bar and crush the bar yeah, as you make bench press. Yeah, make a strong wrist that way, so you're making a nice fist. Excellent. And there you go. How about oh. tempo? 
Yep. Uh, tempo yeah. depends, right? It depends mm. if you're looking for power, you exactly. go real fast up and slow Whatever down. Whatever adaptation you're seeking. However, yeah, I would suggest you really start with a nice slow count so you have good control and you get good connectivity, and then we power it out there at the bottom. Oh, here's how a good one. How about, how about another, going all the way down? I was just going to say, here's all the other the common mistake down. right here. Yeah. yeah. No, no, no. With your, when your shoulders are pinned back and you've got good activation, full range of motion is perfectly safe. Right. In fact, it's desirable because you're going to get stronger in a fuller range of motion. He's not resting that there. He's not bouncing it off his chest. He's pulling it to his chest to touch and, and then make contact and press out. And that is the America's favorite exercise right That's there. That's it. That's the bench chest press. Monday. Chest Monday.